Uh, well, this is Marcia again with prophetic words from someone I know. And today is June the 23rd. It's on a Thursday. And as usual, I was not prepared to do a video today. But let me tell you how this started. And if y'all seen some of my videos a couple of weeks back, uh, my friend from Jerusalem called me again. We were talking. And as some of y'all might know, Israel now is without a uh, government until October. Then they'll have a new election. And we were talking about that and the seriousness of it. And we know that God is working all things to the good. So we finished our conversation. And um, like I said, one going to do a video. And then the Holy Spirit, he's got a sense of humor. and my journal was open again, and this is so relevant to what we were talking about and everything. So she's, she's a very prophetic um, intercessor over there in the land. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. So let's hear what the Word of God says today. Okay, and this was given to me January the 14th, 2022, 1.30 a.m., and this was three days after I got out of the hospital from having gallbladder surgery. It was an emergency surgery, but I don't want to go into that right now. Let's see what the Lord says. There will be, there will be apostolic leaders like Paul who will be shipwrecked. Paul was accused of political, political anarchy and insurrection against Rome. That is what is happening in America. They are accusing my true church of political insurrections. America is mine and Israel is mine. Yes, it is an insurrection against the Antichrist spirit. How dare it try that spirit, try to subvert my timing. I have not given my throne up and will never. I have put everything under my son, Jesus. He is the one who will rule and reign. Those that claim my name will be shipwrecked like Paul. I am testing them in the, in the political, spiritual realm. They will put their hands in the fire of a hot furnace and come out with an adder. Can they shake it off or will they allow it to kill their assignments? I have called them to be in, to be in my governmental authority. I have an unseen rim that works in a higher court system. Those that walk on earth are connected to a much superior authority that I have given. Keys to bind and loose. Use these keys. I am calling those who love my nation to stand against the own slaughter of deceptive words and lies to take down the Constitution and the Bill of Rights I gave America. Will they go to other leaders and nations with the gospel of my son. The spirit of political and, and religion in Paul's day is still the principality over Rome now. It has not lost its position. That fallen spirit was one of my creatures, but like Satan, it was full of iniquity and wanted to exert dominance over us. He's talking about the Trinity. I am the great God and always will be. Today, the same battle is taking place. Will I have my true church? Will they have the fortitude as my early apostles to take on these fallen ones? To stand in the middle of an earthly insurrection against my unseen kingdom and bring it down? I said from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence at the hands of violent men. But like the days of Elijah, the prophets are back on the earth. Their voices are proclaiming my words and my agenda, which have never changed. I am returning in my glory, which I have given to my church. That is to occupy till I come. When I return in bodily form, my feet that was nailed to the cross will stand on the Mount of Olives, never to be moved again, unmovable by man. I will walk and run among the Judean hills. And I will go back to the city of David and my throne will forever reign. I will stay the nations and I will hold my scepter out and bid my beloved children to come and dine with me. And we shall dance the dance of the eternal wedding. Rejoice, my God, rejoice. Um, I'm going to kind of break this down. Um, 
what he's saying with the spiritual and political realm, um, there in in the world today, since Satan fell, there is a, a, a realm that you can't see that's with governments and everything. And God is didn't appoint it to be like this. And so right now, the uh, prophets and the apostles and the children of God can speak his word and we can bring down this tr I call it tyranny against, against the word of God and against his nations because he promised Jesus the nations. And he, and he mentioned, I thought it was funny, <coughs> excuse me, Paul was shipwrecked, <coughs> was going, oh, <coughs> excuse me, Paul was going to Malt to um, Rome, and he was shipwrecked on Malta, in which, and I, and I thought Malta, you know, but it was 50 miles from Rome, and then he mentions Rome in this, and I had no, no connection until I started thinking about it today, and I looked at Malta, and it was 50 miles from Rome, so that was, that was a good word that we're going back to Rome, and it still has the principalities and powers over it, but we're going to pull them down, and also the spirit of Elijah. See, Elijah, from the days of John the Baptist, the Lord said that uh, Elijah, you know, uh, was Elijah was like the spirit of John the Baptist, and John the Baptist proclaimed the return of, that Jesus was coming. And Malachi, the last book of the of the Old Testament, he said the spirit of of uh, of uh, John the Baptist would come. The Old Testament, there was a spirit of Elijah. I'm sorry, I'm getting it all. Confused. The spirit of Elijah would come, and John the Baptist had that. So we, as the people of God, we have that same spirit as Elijah did. That same spirit is on us. And so now we have a prophetic mantle that we can say, you know what? We come against the spirit of the Antichrist right now. That's over nations and over America. And we're going to pull them down. And we're going to cry out for leaders to be saved. Remember Paul when he got bit by the snake, the adder, and and the king was there, and he brought the king to who Jesus Christ was, and that's what we want to do. We want to bring all leaders right now to the foot of the cross. We want them to rule their nations in mercy, because Jesus is coming, and he's going to rule, you know, rule them, but right now, I think we've got a lot of time right now. I don't know whether when he's coming or anything like that. I can't predict that. But right now, we've got a lot of time that we can start praying for nations, start praying for the leaders of nations. Because if the leader knows Jesus, then that whole nation is going to be blessed. So let's pray for the leaders to know Jesus. And if they don't, then we'll have to let God deal with them. That's up to God. But right now, let's ask for God to give the leaders uh, just a hunger to know who Jesus Christ is because his glory is going to hit this earth and we're part of his glory. We've got good things ahead, y'all. This is not the end like we see it. It's kind of rough and everything that's going to be shaken will be shaken, but we're going to stand like Elijah. We have the spirit of Elijah in us and we are going to see Jesus do mighty things and the Holy Spirit is going to empower us to just call the nations forth in the name of Jesus because it's it's what Jesus said the Lord said I will give you talking about Jesus the nations for your inheritance so we're part of the inheritance of, of God so let's call for mercy for the leaders they come to repentance and know who Jesus is and that the glory of God will hit all nations we're going to have a marvelous, marvelous time coming up. All right. Good. See y'all later. Bye.